Hi everyone, and thanks for stopping by the fifth edition of our video podcast. Another one. Um, today we're going to discuss uh, a post that I put up on the site on December 10th, but we never got around to making a podcast about it because I was pretty busy, and Shine was busy. So today we're going to make it with my Englishman friend, Ben. Yeah, this Hello. is him. This is he, of who I speak. Okay, now the post was titled, Work, 들어가는 동사구 몇 가지. Okay, 동사구 in English is a phrasal verb. A phrasal verb, um, there's so many in English. This is one of the things that's so hard for foreigners uh, when they try to learn English. So, for example, come up with is probably the most common um, phrasal verb. We use come up with a lot or uh, work. We use a lot of phrasal verbs that have work in them. And so let's take a look at um, phrasal verbs that have the word work in them, okay? So the first one, and this is the most common one, is work out. And work out has a lot of meanings, okay? And I only put five of them down, but I think there's actually more. But I just put five of them down on the uh, website. The most common usage of work out is uh, 운동하다, when you exercise. Yeah, pumping iron. We also say for weightlifting, we say pumping iron. Do you use that? Pumping iron, yeah. Pumping iron. Okay, so iron is like the barbells, and pumping is this action. Lifting brick. You really? Yeah. You never heard that one? Lifting brick. But you guys, okay, what about lifting stones? Because I know you, that's a weight measurement in England. No, <laughs> okay. Lifting boulder, boulders. No, just brick. Boulder lifting. lifting. Brick. Okay. Lifting brick. Well, we don't use that in America, so they don't use that. It actually sounds kind of weird. Um, <laughs> lifting the brakes. Um, but what I wanted to ask you is, so in England you use stone as a, a weight, like a measure of weight. How yes. many pounds is that? 14 pounds. Real pounds, like the pounds we Four, use? Yeah, not, not pounds sterling, not, not money. No. <laughs> not um, money pound. Uh, four, yeah, 14 pounds is a stone. Okay. And 2.2 pounds to a kilo. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, so, we don't use the metric system in America. We're the last, uh, most conservative country about that. Nobody's interested in the metric system in America except for scientists. So we used to still use pounds and Fahrenheit, which we inherited from Great Britain. But Great Britain changed the metric system, and America persists in only using <laughs> the system that we inherited from. We, we we use the metric system, but we don't use um, don't use kilometers, and for for our height. We don't use meters and centimeters. Oh, really? We, we use feet? feet and inches. Wow, I didn't know and that. And for weight, we use um, stone. stone and pounds. Wow. Okay, so then what do you use the metric system for? Liquids? Liquids. But you still use pi You still have pints and quarts, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're, a we're, quart, I don't know. We're, we're, we're digressing. Don't know we're digressing. <laughs> yeah, we're getting off topic here. <laughs> okay. All right, back to workout. So the point is, when you call somebody and say, what are you doing? Okay, let's say you're at the gym. Okay, 그 헬스에 가서 지금 운동하는 중. 그거 영어로 말하고 싶으면, we don't say I'm exercising now. 그거 조금 어색해요. 그거보다 we say I'm working out. Yeah, we say I'm working out now or I have to work out today. Okay, that's usually the expression we use more than exercising. Now, so that's the first meaning. Now, why don't you read that example sentence? I won't. I won't be home till late tonight. I've got to stop by the gym and work out for at least an hour. Okay, so 오늘 늦게 귀가할 것 같아요. 왜냐? 헬스에 가서 적어도 한 시간 운동하려고요. 운동해야 돼요. Okay, so that in English would be, again, I won't be home till late night tonight. I've got to stop by the gym and work out for at least an hour. Okay, let's look at the next um, meaning. Okay, the next usage of work out. If you add it to the middle of it, work it out, then it has the meaning of 잘 해내다 or 화해하다. 사이가 안 주어진 친구하고 화해하는 거. We say work it out. So for example, let's say we have a mutual friend. Okay, so, 서로 아는 친구 있어요. But let's say uh, that friend and Ben had a falling out. Okay, 사이 안 주어진 거예요. 절교, 절교 당했어요. So you got um, yeah, ostracized from your friends. Okay, that um, 소외 당했어요. Okay, that is ostracized from the group of friends. But I want them to be friends again so that we can all hang out like we used to in yeah. the good old days, right? I'd like that too. We'd like that too. And this is a true story, actually. This happens a lot, you know, in friend relationships. Now, I would say to them, I hope you guys work it out so we can be like we used to. We can all hang out and be happy. So in that case, I would say, I hope you guys can work it out. Work it out. Work it out. 
All right, so you use that the same in England too, right? Yeah. Okay. You need to work out differences. Yeah. You guys need to work out your differences. So, 의견 차이를 좁혀야 돼요. Okay, you need to work out your differences. And I hope we can work it out. All right. I hope we can work it out. Right, isn't that in a Beatles song or something? We can work, work it, it out. out. Yeah. We can work it out. <laughs> yeah. Life is... <laughs> but that's not Beatles, is it? That's somebody else. I think it's the Beatles. Okay, sorry. All right, and then three. Um, ben was saying that they don't use this usage. 이 용도 그 영국에서 안 쓴대요. But in America, we use work off for 살 빼는 거. Okay? When you have to get rid of some belly fat, yeah, which we both do, by the way, especially you, um, <laughs> we'd say, I already lost 10 kilograms last year, so I'm, I'm doing good on my um, starvation diet. But when somebody needs to lose weight, they can say about themselves, I need to lose about 5 pounds, so I need to work off about 5 pounds of belly fat. Okay? 배살 한 5kg 정도. I have to work off about five pounds of belly fat, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess. You guess. You guess I do. All right. And work in. This 그렇게 많이 쓰이는 표현 아니지만, we use work in when I'm really I'm really busy tomorrow. Schedule 완전 바빠요. 하루 종일 schedule 잤는데 그래도 우리 꼭 봐야 돼요. Then I would say I'll work you in tomorrow for a short appointment, but it's 좀 힘들다는 그런 어감이에요. I'll work you in tomorrow for a short appointment. Did you have anything to add on that? Working, I mean, we use it occasionally in the in the UK, but not very often. It's yeah, it's when um, you make an appointment. When you make an appointment, and so, yeah, I'll work you in somewhere. I'll fit you in yeah. somewhere into the the busy schedule. Right, or I'll work you in somehow. Right, yeah. 어떻게 하든, like any in any way I can. All right, and then the next two are in the works, which means 진행 중. So, like I've told uh, you, a lot of people before, I'm working on a site that teaches Korean to foreigners. So, if people ask me, how's that coming along? I would say, it's in the works. 지금 진행 중이에요, right? It's in the works now, but I'm not done with it. It's not ready, okay? You use that too? Yeah, in the works, we use it a lot. Okay, so I would say, for example, um, you know, how's your business? How's your business business enterprise coming along? You would say, well, we haven't launched yet, but it's in the works. Okay, and then last, work towards. So why don't you read the last? Uh, I'm slowly working towards my dream of retiring to a ranch in Montana. Is that your dream? Cowboy? No, 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 no not much of a cowboy. I prefer to be on the beach. Okay, but you don't like the simple life? The simple, the simple life on the beach. Oh, on the beach. Okay. Cocktail in hand. Not the broke back mountain no, version. No. <laughs> Alright, well that's my dream. Um, okay, I'm so sure. working towards a dream is something you want and you're working hard towards it step by step every day. So let's say my dream is to become a great translator. Then every day I'm working towards that dream by studying Korean, by writing in Korean. Every day I'm making an effort, okay? Then we could say I'm working towards my dream of becoming a great translator. That's how we use that expression. Okay? Alright, well thanks everyone for stopping by, and we'll catch you next time for the 6th edition of the video podcast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.